Okay, so for breakfast, I've got some leftover rolls from dinner last night. I'm going to make some breakfast sandwiches out of. I've got a few sausage links in the air fryer cooking. And then over here on the stove, I've got some scrambled eggs and a little bit of butter melting up to cook them. Okay, so I also got this cracker cuts of cheese, and I'm going to go ahead and use the cheddar and the gouda on my eggs. I brought this for Valentine's Day. I didn't use it all, so I'm going to try to work it into a few of our meals so we can use it up. Okay, so this is the finished sandwich. It is a very, very large sandwich. I've got two eggs and an egg white on here, two pieces of like, well, two sausage links, and then a slice of cheese and those little cracker cuts on there. So I'm really excited to eat this. It looks really, really good. So one tip I've got for you guys, if you are struggling with like motivation or getting things done, one thing that really helps me is setting a very like fun, happy, cozy environment. And not like cozy, like you want to hop back in bed, but something that just makes you happy. So right now I'm so excited for fall. So I fixed myself a cup of coffee this morning. I put on some like Disney Halloween movies because they make me feel really like nostalgic and stuff. And I absolutely love them. And then I'm just turning on like my little twinkle lights. I have very low lighting in my room. I don't know. It just seems to help me. And if you need some kind of tips or tricks, you can try this and see if it helps you. So let's get on back into it. So we're going to take a little bit of lunch break. I've got some gumbo I made the other day. If you want this recipe, it'll be in a what's for dinner. I'll like tag it up here in the corner. But it is so, so good. And I love it. I've been wanting it for weeks and I had it made it. So I finally caved and made some. After I get done eating lunch, we're going to get back to cooking and getting everything done.
Okay, so I just noticed my camera died and I've been kind of going through my clothes trying to pick out some stuff that I don't want anymore. I can't be the only one that has this much trouble getting rid of clothes. I hate getting rid of clothes, but I don't really like going buying clothes either. So I think that plays in the factor of why I hate getting rid of clothes and I'm like so emotionally attached to clothes. I don't know what it is. I don't know I'm just an emotional person and when I see a shirt that I wore for like this occasion or this occasion I'm like I don't want to get rid of it <laughs> so I have not pulled a ton of things out of my closet that I want to get rid of but if anybody has any tips and tricks of how they get rid of their clothes if they're emotionally attached to them or they just have like a really hard time getting rid of them let me know down in the comments it would be really really appreciated and I would be super thankful ingredients I need for the chili tonight we need two pounds of ground meat I've got ground turkey recipe calls for ground beef but I'm not gonna sweat it too much and then I've got a bag of green bell peppers onions and celery chopped up really really fine that we're gonna saute then all the canned goods you need is petite diced tomatoes tomato sauce chili beans and kidney beans half of us don't like beans the other half do so I'm gonna split the pot and cook these in a separate pot and then make a pot with no beans. So let's go ahead and go over all the seasonings you're gonna need. So this is all of the spices you're gonna need. You're gonna need ground cumin, some salt, chili powder, oregano, garlic powder, the recipe calls for minced garlic, like fresh minced garlic, but I don't have any, and then cayenne pepper. Okay, so now for the cornbread mix, I'm gonna crack three eggs in a pretty large bowl. One third cup milk, one and a half cups of water. Gonna need one yellow cake mix. And then two Jiffy cornbread mixes. And then I'm gonna give this a really, really good mix. Okay, so now I've got my cupcake pans out and I'm going to line 24 of them for our little cupcake muffins. And now I'm going to fill them up a little over halfway full. Okay, so now our cornbread muffins are gonna go in the oven at 325 for about 15 to 17 minutes. So now that we've got our cornbread muffins in, we've got our beans on a very low heat, just letting them simmer. And then I went ahead and put our chili on pressure cook for 20 minutes. Our chili is done. I already released it. Now we're gonna open it. So our chili is done. It looks really, really good. It is really, really smoky, like really steamy. And then our corn muffins are done. <laughs> 